generally speaking, there are two types of conflict in the workplace. There is task conflict and interpersonal conflict. And generally speaking, we try to avoid conflict at all costs because of just the negative connotations that are associated with it. We don't want conflict in our workplace because then that leads to tension and morale issues and turnover issues and burnout issues. And we feel like we're something that we just want to eliminate altogether. However, I want to suggest a different perspective on conflict. Conflict in and of itself is not bad as long as we're having conflict around the right issue. We actually want task conflict, but what we don't want is interpersonal conflict. Just imagine a day when you go into the workplace and you're in a staff meeting and an issue is on the table and you are rigorously debating that issue, the pros and cons, whether you should do it or not do it. That's actually conflict. You might see it one way, your coworkers might see it another way, and you're really trying to better understand what approach or what strategy should we take in order to address this issue. That's what you call task conflict. Now, what you don't want to happen is for an idea to be on the table and no one say anything, everyone just rubber stamps the idea. That's what you call apathy. Apathy doesn't produce the best results. People aren't really bought into whatever the initiative is and just in general, it's not something that you want. What you want is your team to be rigorously engaged in conflict around the task. Now, sometimes, if there's significant engagement around that task and there's conflict around that task, you might cross the line and that task conflict might become interpersonal conflict. It happens to all of us where you're debating the issue and then you say, well, Susan, why can't you just see it my way? You're always disagreeable. And the moment you make a statement like you are always disagreeable, you just crossed the forbidden line. You have gone from task conflict to interpersonal conflict. So what do you do when you cross that line? Well, you stop, you acknowledge, you know what? I probably just crossed the line and I'm sorry. You are not always disagreeable. I apologize. This is a part of being emotionally intelligent and mature. When you recognize that you went too far, you just step back over onto the other side of the line. You want to get as close to the line where you feel like we can really wrestle with the issues, but we don't cross the line and you become the issue. This is what we call healthy conflict. And the best teams are able to engage in this type of conflict. Now, if you're wondering, wow, how do we get there? How do we get to the point where we can actually debate an issue without it becoming personal and without people leaving as though their feelings are hurt? Well, the key, my friend, is psychological safety. Psychological safety says, I feel safe to show up in this room, in this meeting, to voice my opinion, and I know that whatever I say, you all are not going to attack me for it. Now, you might wrestle with what I said, you might disagree with what I said, but I am not going to be the center of the attack. Psychological safety is where, as a team, you feel safe to challenge ideas and to challenge issues and to wrestle with concepts and to have conflict and debate over issues because you know it's not personal, we're just debating the issue. And when it's all said and done, someone will inevitably say, hey, I'm really grateful for this conversation. If I said anything that may have gone, gotten, went too far, I apologize, but I'm really glad that we had this conversation. That's what you want on your team. And when you, as a leader or as a team member, when you model it, it's something that others will buy into and you can experience the healthy conflict that will actually drive your team forward.